Hello. Can a person be possessed? They can most definitely be possessed by an ideology. I'm going to start this video just from a quote from the Bible. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We, de we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Oh. There is like a truth that is apparent for every situation. You know, when people ask, what would Jesus do? That's knowing what God would do, right? So that's why we we should be situational with what ideas we are we have, and if we don't have the ability to look at all the axioms, or at least enough axioms to to start to see a some connecting lines, then we shouldn't be making many judgments upon those or any or parting setting too deep. I, ideological stances in any of those situations right and so we want to kill off these uh ideologies in ourselves there's some that are we're very much cognitively a part of and we take them because it enhance it makes us feel good about something in ourselves as an ego thing and that comes from the de the depths it's the perception that we're a part of, but the, the precognitive biases that are intergenerational demons that we carry are the demons we carry. We're possessed by them, you know, and I believe as we open up to our truth and notice like weird um, judgments that come out, where did they come from? Right. They came out. Right. But you did. It's it came. It's like I felt that way. Right. And you know, sometimes that there is intuitive feelings that we can't gaslight ourselves on. So I'm, I'm not putting I'm not putting those two into the same place. But there is, it's hard to to dabble between these two because you know, it's we get a feeling and it comes from down below. Which how do we perceive it? And our perception is uh, is really important to be not based on ideology, right? So. If we want to come together, we have to be quite liquid in uh, in how we perform because you become ideological, you become ice, you know, and ice is not living, right? You, if you become, you know, let's just say, completely able to fit into as many cracks as possible, and what, and what does that mean, especially? Well, you know. Morality is a hard one to speak about because there is people that believe there's ideas set in stone, like especially when they look at the things of the Bible, that um, that are there's ideologies that come out of the Bible that uh, really set people that read the Bible apart, and uh, and because it's written in that stone, they are not able to make judgments in a situational basis. They just stay away from that. They become tunnel vision to the set in stone uh, writings of, of scripture, like Bibles or people they, because um, you have to remember is these people that we are idols, right? So it's, you know, people idolize God and Christ and that's why they believe the Holy Bible is something to, is an ideology to follow. Uh, you, you know, they have to be careful with how that works because, you know, like we said, there's ideology and there's idea and they do are on a spectrum, you know. So what is this talking about? It's like we demolish arguments, and every pretension that sets itself against the knowledge of God. Well, that's what the Archangel Michael is. And he is the uh, he is comes in and kills the demon. Right. And he, but he uses truth. He uses reason. He uses uh, compassion and love, and and you can kill. It's not the weapons of the flesh. 
right? And you can, and that's in if you're possessed by an ideology, then you, you can be your own exorcist and kill the ideology in yourself. But you can also be a part of the being an exorcist in the world and killing the, the little demons and people. And it may not seem like you uh, you've killed a demon, but you may have put a mortal wound in some because a lot of these people have such ideological connections to these things that they're not going to show you when you've said something that breaks down their ideology because their ego is going to be so connected to that. But you know what? You might have mortally wounded that animal and it just might take some time or till the next battle with somebody else that speaks some truth to that person where they, that part of them has to die. So I encourage people to be a part of the exorcist, you know, and even if you don't believe, like there's this thing you that you feel in your world that you could speak up about, an untruth that you feel is untrue. You speak up, even if you're not right, at least somebody else is going to help us come to the center, right? And that's making the world words of the Lord flesh, is us speaking and together and knowing we're trying to come to the center and not if somebody says something that bothers them a little bit, don't get so ideological and attack them on that. Stick to the fact that we're trying to find that center, right? And I do have one ideology that's complete, you know, like, I, I, it's, it's hard to even ever put down one way you think of something because there's always a situational reason why that's not true you know so stay liquid be open but be very be watch things also you make judgments you know don't be so open and just like let everything come in there is discernments and judgments that need to be made so encourage your, I encourage people to be really open and drop all their ideologies but also be very vigilant you know it is a balance right so anyways have a lovely day